All right, welcome to the post show show here on the uh, Scott Henderson Show on the Common Sense Club. I am your humble chairman, and uh, we had a heck of a show today. Obviously, he's talking still a lot about bin Laden and what happened uh, on Sunday. Um, you know, we started the program by saying that I wasn't necessarily going to sign on to this whole unity thing. And uh, the reason I'm not going to sign on to this whole unity thing is because unity has to go two ways. You agree with me? Uh, President Obama is asking for unity. What he means is, uh, we should just, you know, no longer politically oppose him because he was president and we got Osama bin Laden. That's his version of unity. I'm saying, okay, I'll go along with this unity thing as long as we can, once and for all, put aside the debate about whether or not enhanced interrogation techniques work because they did. Uh, we know that now from a number of different sources, including, by gosh, here's the New York Times today. And, uh, you know, it's funny, everybody's saying, oh, the White House said that... Uh, Ellen Ratner was on the program today. She was debating whether or not, uh, you know, uh, anybody confirmed this. I said, Ellen, here's your favorite terrorist tip sheet, the New York Times, saying, uh, when the agency began rounding up al-Qaeda operatives in 2002, subjecting them to hours of brutal interrogation sessions, only the New York Times would refer to the uh, treatment of a terrorist as brutal, but n nonetheless, in secret overseas prisons, by the way, the ones the Obama administration wanted to close, that they finally began filling in the gaps about the foot soldiers, couriers, and money men rely on, bin Laden relied on, which brought us to bin Laden. Among our guests on the program was General Michael Hayden, who formerly himself headed up the CIA, asked him a very simple question. Uh, General, you know, uh, f give me the path. Where, where did the path begin that led us to Sunday? Here's what he said. But we think the courier net might be our best way to track back to bin Laden. And we've got a little bit of information on the couriers, from some of the people that CIA had detained and questioned at our so-called black sites. So let's start with that information and begin to build out from there. That started about four years ago, Scott, and frankly, there is a straight line between the work that began there and the raid that took place Sunday afternoon our time. What we got, the original lead information, and frankly, it was incomplete identity information on the couriers, began with information from CIA detainees at the black sites. And let, let me just leave it, at, leave it at that. I also asked him, I said, you know, is this debate over? And he said, well, the debate's over about whether enhanced interrogation techniques work or not. Um, but, you know, the debate over whether they're right to use them or not isn't. You know, he said, look, people are going to differ. I have my view, but anybody that says we ought not use them ought to do so with the caveat, despite the fact they work, we ought not use them. Uh, I'd love to see that happen. Uh, Stephen Hayes, the Weekly Standard, was on. He's been big on this story, following it as well. Really, the debate ends over this. It should end right here. And, you know, again, it's very hard for the Obama administration to admit because they got to admit something they opposed led to something they're now claiming credit for. So a very interesting piece. We also did another uh, uh, update on the Jericho March, which is coming on Saturday. Details here at scotthannon.com, which, by the way, you can find all the information about previous programs in the search box. Take a listen to previous shows, but check out the story of Terry Melby and her daughter, a pro-life family, and the impact that the Jericho March had on them back in 1987, and uh, the, the fact that uh, Terry herself had an abortion, and now tells that story to change lives. And they talk about the misperceptions of the pro-life movement, and uh, how it's uh, ultimately not judgmental. It's ultimately there to just try and prevent people from the pain, in this case, that Terry felt. So listen to that interview. It's a good one. And uh, much more all on the Common Sense Club tomorrow. Two, count them, two Navy SEALs that have uh, been there, done that, uh, not unlike what we did with um, Obama Sunday, uh, Osama Sunday, excuse me. Also, Obama ordered it, right? It was all his idea, so Obama did have a role, but in getting Osama. Also, uh, we have Jim Casper uh, on the program, and uh, soup kitchens might be coming to Minnesota if Governor Mark Dayton has his way. We'll tell you about the soup kitchen tour coming to Minnesota all on the next Common Sense Club. Thanks for watching the post-show show right here.